Okay, sorry that cut off abruptly. I wasn't watching the time, so this is going to be a two-part video. Um, so where were we? Okay, so this page here, the image here is from Tsunami Rose. I've sewn around the edge and just put some trim on the bottom. And then I have a glassine bag. And in here I just have some of the um, music sheet paper. It's, it's old vintage paper and it feels really smooth and nice so I just popped in a couple of bits that were left over stamped on them and sewed around the edges and did a bit of stamping on the back too so that sits in there that to stay in the pocket and then there's this vintage lady here I found on Pinterest and another tag, that's just some stamping from the Kayser Craft Stamps. And I actually think that might be a Kazaz stamp, that one. And just some gesso and stamping on the back of the tag. And that's just some scrapbook paper. Some journaling space. And some more of the paper from the Love Is Sheet Kit. And this image is from Pinterest and I've just got some cheesecloth underneath the butterfly that I've punched out and a button. And then in here, um, this image here, just with a stamping on the back. And this I found on my computer, it was um, sent to me um, by a friend, I'm not sure where it's from though, so... I can't give any credit there because I don't know whose it is. Um, just I actually printed it on normal copy paper and it was quite thin. Um, so then I've just backed the inside with a bit of book page just to give it a bit more strength. And I didn't cut the little tags out. I've left them just like that. And then these little tags here. Uh, from Denise's shop, so the French ones. Then you have the English version on the back. And it's just one of the bulb clips from Denise's shop holding them together. Let me show you that. And then that just sits in there and it closes like that. And then this pocket here, again, is some old music sheet I've sewn around the outside. Some seam binding and twine. And this little leaf here is from um, Prima. Um, one of the Finna Bears collection, I think. The image here is from Tsunami Rose. And then there's just some cheesecloth on the back. And then the tag inside is also inspired by an Angie Bunner tag. It's just got some of the baking paper I dyed the pages on. The music sheet is just sewn down and this image is from Tsunami Rose as well and I've just sewed over the large tag. So this is a time cut tag and I've actually just cut these sections off to create the tags. It's squared and you'll find these large time um, cards in a tattered dream as well and um, I've just stamped onto there as well more journaling space and that's also inspired by Angie Bunner off of one of her videos um, it's a bit different I just took this part off of one of the I think she had a glycine bag journal that she made and this part was on one of the corners or something so it's just a ticket from Denise's shop, some trim from my stash and just some buttons that I've sewn all of that together. I actually sewed it all before I stuck it down so, and then just butterfly stamp on the bottom. Might bring it in a bit more. Oops. And then these are from Denise's shop as well. So this image here is from Tsunami Rose and then I've just laid some cheesecloth and fabric and stamped on it and another button with some of the um, crochet 
twine that I use to sew my signatures. So that folds out like that. I've stamped down the bottom, a bit of trim. This is another vintage lady image from Tsunami Rose. It's just a tag and or an envelope coin pouch I should say. And then I've just stamped on some scrapbook paper. That just folds over like that. So these are in Denise's shop. They're the all the links to everything will be down the bottom anyway. And that just sits in there. And then we just have some of the um coffee tea dyed paper that I have sewn around. That's a book page with some cheesecloth and another one of the layered flowers with the book page and baking paper. And that's Tsunami Rose library, library tag. And that's from Tsunami Rose as well. And again, I just did the stamping on the back. This is the centre of the second signature. So again, just the book page with the gesso sewed around the edge. And the vintage lady is a Tsunami Rose image. And I've left that plain for some journaling. And again, I didn't embellish the bags. And some more. All of this is from Tsunami Rose. And I've sewn around the edges of those. And that's a, just a large journaling card. Again, the same for this one is the oval doily from Denise's shop. And this is where the cross stitch signatures are sewn in together in the centre here. And I've just put in a lady and a gentleman's um, silhouette heads, the die cut that Teresa, a friend, gave to me. I love them. So, yeah, lady and gentleman heads on a string. <laughs> Sounds funny. And then just some more cards in here. These are from Tsunami Rose. I didn't didn't stamp too well the punch kind of decided it didn't want to work and that I got from Pinterest and backed it on an index card and again just some gessoing and stamping and then we have another vintage lady image from Tsunami Rose there journaling space and this is just one on the other side of the craft envelope and it's just got some trim and the image is from Tsunami Rose sewn around the edge and some ephemera piece from Tsunami Rose made into a tag and so I've just put some of that stretchy trim on it with some fibres and then here again Tsunami Rose and then this flips over for the envelope and this is the large tag from the um, Victorian Romance from Ephemera's Vintage Garden and inside this envelope some ephemera from Tsunami Rose and I've just stapled on some seam binding and bits of trim More journaling space and this is decoupaged it's on a napkin that um, I purchased so I fussy cut her out of the napkin and I've just decoupaged her on there that was a struggle she was huge and another glassine bag tuck spot here so again the image is from Tsunami Rose I've sewn around the edge and it's also backed onto an index card with some stamping and inside the glassine bag it's just a tag with some stamping on it and then we have this larger lady that was on the tag at the front that's just a journaling card and then this large tag is from the Victorian Romance from the Femmes Vintage Garden filled today with love and laughter
similar to Chicken. And this is also an Angie Bunner inspired um, collection of decoupaging and layering here. So I've used a book page and I've stamped a little bit on the book page. I've layered a bit of trim, some notebook page and just a bit of um, hemp that I pulled out of the large wad I have of it. Um, this is just some corrugated cardboard that I've punched out. And I have got some, um, this white stuff is, uh, I've got some of this stuff. I have to learn how to use it, but I've just popped some of that over the top of the heart. And that's just a rhinestone bit of bling there. And that's just a layered flower that I had with a button. And it's layered behind the image is, um found these on Pinterest, I think it was, um, and it's just a vintage lady tag and it's laid underneath some um, material, it's like I cut it off of some of the lace trim I had and it's got some cheesecloth behind it and some seam binding and then in behind the pocket we have, oops, 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 where am I, yep, vintage lady from a Tsunami Rose and I've sewn around the edge of the tag. Another of one of the checks that I received from Ebba. And I've just popped in some silk ribbon and one of the light bulb trinkets from Denise's shop and it has just a button on there. And then I've stamped, put some gesso over the check and stamped on it. And I folded the check up because it was too long and I made a pocket and I've just popped in another one of these vintage lady tags and then inside the pocket it's just some more of the um, music sheet that I've sewn straight across the top and it's butterfly punch and then just some heart stamping I like the feel of this paper it is so old I think the music sheets that I have are like 150 years old they're, they're nearly falling apart and that's just some more of the washi tape that I have and I've sewn around obviously the outside of the check and I think these checks are dated 1945 and those back in there and that's just another doily tuck spot on this side right just under there and then everything else is sewn down again and that's one of the um, flashcards from Denise's shop and we have some more journaling space and then the last page is the Rita Donnelly corner flip just some stamping and that's the last tag I made so this is the gold leaf trim the other one was the cream and that's from Denise's shop and the doily some stamping and the image is Tsunami Rose I just got some seam binding and some fibre and on the back it has just the doily and some stamping and that's the Love is Chic kit and there is the last page and that's the end of the journal so if you have any questions pop them in the comments section down below um, and I will be listing this in my Etsy shop at some stage um, over the next couple of days um, so that's pretty much it I think I've mentioned everybody um, if you see something in this book and I've not credited someone or mentioned someone pop it in the comment section and um, I will address that um, but I think I have covered everything um so for now i will say goodbye and i need to go blow my nose okay bye everybody